Joining us now from the beautiful area of Sedona, Arizona, is Miss Lorelai Bradley. Lorelai is a spiritual mm -hmm. healer. Lorelai, welcome to the program. Oh, hello. Thank you. I really am glad to have you on the show this week, because as I mentioned at the top of the show, people are going through what we call a COVID fatigue. It's causing all kinds of anxiety, causing all kinds of symptoms. What's your take on that? Well, I, I think it's very true. And I think the isolation is probably one of the hardest on us, both mentally and emotionally. And anything that affects us on a mental or emotional level has a tendency to manifest in the physical body as well. Now you're able to help people with these kinds of things, aren't you? I do. I've been doing it for quite a while and with somewhat, I would say, a great deal of success. Well, your background is fascinating. Can you give us a little bit of insight into that? Well, I've always seen spirits since I was a child, and I was first very much intuitive and began doing readings at a very early age. I've worked for all kinds of law enforcement agencies, helping finding missing, missing persons. I really enjoyed the work I did in finding missing children. Hmm. Uh, I did some work with murders, and, but I, I didn't enjoy that so much. And I became more of an intuitive counselor for quite a while before I branched out into spiritual and energy modalities. Now, as I mentioned at the top of the program, you're a spiritual healer. For people who mm -hmm. are undergoing health issues, dealing with health issues, undiagnosed in many cases, uncured by doctors, what can you do to help these, these, these people get over that? Well, I wanted to talk just real briefly about the aura. And that's an energy field that's invisible to most people around the body. And intuitive people can often see it and look at the aura. And I have found that, that where there's a, a low, lower layer in the aura or a hole in the aura, there's often, often a corresponding issue in the physical body. So the first thing is to look at the aura, strengthen the aura, find balance in your own aura and energy field. And that's the beginning on your road to wellness. And that will also help you on energy levels in so many ways. Now, of course, in this era of social distancing, sometimes it's difficult for people to see you in person, but you can actually do this remotely, can't you? Yes. Yes. Um, I do something called, we call it Odin Reiki, named after one of the master souls that's, that gave it to me. And I've trained about 300 people in various areas around the world to also do this. And in a nutshell, it uh, uses frequencies of light. Um, I like to call it like a singer would hit a high note and shatter a glass. Well, the corresponding uh, distortion or hole or dis-ease in the aura, when you match the frequency of that disorder and then you go one level higher, like shattering the glass, that shatters that energy pattern in your aura and returns it to a state of balance. You mentioned the word disease, but you pronounced it dis-ease, which I thought was fascinating. Yeah, dis-ease, not at ease, uh, not at ease. Um, so I'm not a doctor, I don't diagnose, but I do uh, handle dis-ease. For people who want to pick your brain, maybe find out what you can do for them, how can they get in touch with you? Well, we have the website and we have email, which is whitelightcrystals at gmail.com. And then we have quite an extensive Odin Reiki and White Light Crystals on Facebook, as well as LinkedIn. I've, there's many, many articles I've written on the subject and channeled on the subject. And you can get in touch with me through any of those modes. Lorelai Bradley, spiritual healer. In these times, we can really use your talents and your abilities and your gifts. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.